this Honda 2018 model uh, CRV 2018 I was called to come and diagnose this vehicle it's having all the all the lights on the radar every light is on so having an issue with it and I run a diagnosing to see what is the actual problem and you can see we are having up to 13 modules so you can see one to 13 modules and let me go to report and see what are the fourth code so the pcm is coming is the f can is having an issue so the f can malfunction which means the ecm is not communicating with the image processing unit which is the camera unit and also the abs is com not having communication with the driver support control system control unit and the gauge module is also having an e issue with it so that means it's a communication issue from the driver support unit so what i'll do is i'll check why there is no support in the driver assist unit so now we'll turn the ignition off and go to the basics test all my fuses and see if everything is okay then i'll move to the unit itself so now i'll check all the fuses and see if the, the fuses are working so check all the fuses and see so it's on this fuse and it's at fuse state and you can see so let me check the other fuses and see if the fuses are working and the problem was the car had an accident the car was involved in an accident front collision uh, so it pushed in the radar sensor the car was having a front collision so it pushed in the radar sensor so after checking all the fuses and finding out all the fuses are okay now what i'll do is i'll take out the radar sensor so i'll take the radar the millimeter wave sensor out and check to see if i can find power and ground then look you can see there is a ton wire beneath it which is the power going which is the power going into the radar sensor it is torn from the socket so take the socket out and you can see the wire is torn so what i'll do is i'll fix the wire first then later diagnose and see if i could have communication with it it was from the effect so you can see it's from the effect of the accident so what i'll do now is Mm, I'll pierce in this thing and jump the power. And this is what I have done. So for now, I'll go and check if I'll be able to communicate with it. Turn on the key and rest can the whole system so now you can see it is off so if i start the vehicle all the lights that needs to go off are off and it's left with the blind spot sensor they are having an issue with their blind spot sensor and they did they brought the car in for diagnosing so i'll report to them so that they find a blind spot sensor so now this is the this is the old scan so you can see the art confirm confirm pending and confirm pending and confirm not communicating with the millimeter wave so what i'll do now i'll go back and rescan the system rescan it so now the fourth code is supposed to turn into permanent code so that when i erase everything will go off then it will be left with the lane keep assist that one is a different issue is because of the uh, is because of the issue that the vehicle is having with the blind
blind spots. That's why you'll be having that issue. First, when I scanned it, I was able to communicate with 30 modules. This time, I'm expecting 50, uh, 14 modules because of the work that I've done and because of the tone cable. So if it works, that means I have to find a way in joining the wire together and get the car to run. So I'm having communication with the driver support and everything. So just waiting. So still 13 modules. So what I'll do is I'll erase, I'll turn off the key, turn the car on and erase the fourth code. So after erasing the fourth code, I should be able to get No thoughts, and now no thoughts, no thoughts. So it's left with the blind spots. The left side is having no, the right side is having it's not communicating with the left side. Now, and the customer said they've taken out one of the blind spots, and they are now searching for it. So, um, my main aim is to diagnose and find why those lights were out and to fix the issue that I can. So now there is no fault in the system. Yeah. Start the vehicle and you can see everything is gone and it's left with only the lane assist. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So I'll go and fix that way I call it that so now i'll finish repairing the terminal what i'll do now is i'll fix i'll i'll fit it back into the hole then cut the cable cut the cable then join it to this one then use a heat shrink to cover it up and i'm done with the fixing okay. no so now i have rejoined i've joined the cable now I've joined the cable now. So what I'll do is I'll insect I'll, in, I'll insect it into the pin. So this is how it goes. This is how it goes. To push it into the hole and direct it and it locks up. So now now you've seen it it has locked. So what I'll do is I'll push this thing back to lock it up. You see now it is locked so i'll fit it back but before that I'll, I'll leave it this way i'll leave it this way and fit it back i'll leave it this way so this is how it will be then pushing the lockers then fix the grill back then i'm done so now after fixing everything, fixing the wiring and everything, everything is gone and there is no fault code. The only fault code is the lane departure assist and it's having a problem because the blind spot is having a problem. That's why it's on. So now everything, and you can see now the ACC is on and it's on green. So I'm done. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. So now I'm able to communicate with the integrated driving support. So I'm having 15 modules.